Most people having a mix of good and bad deeds face uncertainty about their next lives and the duration of the bardo period, typically lasting 49 days. However, there are some who lasted 30 to 100 years or even more due to their bad karma. Let's explore. Hello everyone, welcome back, I'm Hansen. If you find today's video or every other video somehow adds a little value to you, please take a few seconds to support by pressing subscribe and like the video and share to anyone near and dear to you. It takes really a lot of effort to create one video with the aim to reduce suffering to many around. Your support will continue to inspire these creations, accumulating good karma in all of us. Let's start. In the previous topics, we discussed briefly on the connectivity between life and death of Theravadian Buddhist perspective. Well, today, let's explore on life and death of Mahayana Buddhist tradition. In the Mahayana tradition, the Bado period, which means the intermediate phase between death and rebirth, generally there's a transitional period between lives lasting for 49 days for most individuals. However, the timeline is not guaranteed, especially if one is strongly attached to their physical body or possessions like their family members or properties and every individual karma is different, so the reincarnation process can be extended. Mahayana's practitioners are also known as the Pure Land Practitioners, aiming for rebirth in a Pure Land, a place to cultivate liberation, to get out of suffering, the land of ultimate bliss. This will skip the Bardo period. Working to get a rebirth during the Bardo period serves only as a second plan for those who are not mindful of Amitabha Buddha at near death, which means before we die, we have to start cultivating. Right? If during the Bardo period, they remember to recite Amitabha Buddha's name, for example, in English, Namo Amitabha Buddha, in Mandarin, Namo Ami Tofu. In Cantonese, Namo Ome Tofu. They can still seek rebirth in the Pure Land. However, devoted Pure Land practitioners with deep faith and vows and practice can arrive at Pure Land, avoiding the Bardo period. Having good cultivation allows them to foresee the time of death, enabling the consciousness, a smooth exit from the physical body. To add on, individuals who commit substantial 10 good deeds, such as to avoid killing, stealing, committing sexual misconduct, lying, divisive speech, harsh speech, frivolous speech, such as gossiping or slandering, greed, anger, and ignorance, even if that person is not a Buddhist, he or she ascend to Pure Land immediately at death, bypassing the Bardo period. Conversely, those engaged in severe evil deeds tends to fall into Hell Realm instantly. Now, beings in the Bardo period possess some sort of psychic powers liberated from physical constraints such as the body, allowing a fast travel and enhanced senses. Some find this liberation while others, unaware of this process, may experience fear and illusions. Now, practicing spiritual activities like reciting sutras or making good deeds can benefit those in the Bado period, easing their suffering and potentially leading to a better rebirth. So friends, I hope you have some confidence by now knowing there's a way to prepare for a good death according to the Mahayana Buddhist tradition. But I would like to add on more to your confidence. Do you want to know 
exactly what to say to someone who has just passed away? Let's explore in the next video. See you.